morning, everybody, and welcome to the launch of the uh, Easy Equities WTF webinar. It's fantastic to have hundreds of uh, users joining us, uh, and we hope you find the session enjoyable. It's our first one, so we're going to test a few things that will. Please feel free to give comments in the chat section. Nalta, and I'm one of the brand ambassadors, and I'm delighted to be joined by Neil and Mora who is our head of trading and knows everything there is to know about investing, trading, shares. Uh, he's one of the most intelligent people around. So as we kick off our 15 minutes together, just to say that we're not going to cover everything in 15 minutes, obviously. Uh, we've got hundreds of you uh, here and we've had hundreds of questions. Let's set the scene. Uh, we're keen to see what you need and then the remainder of the, your questions there. Um, so please keep them coming. Use the Q&A functionality and we'll try and get to them as possible. So without any further ado, uh, Neil and I'm going to kick off over to Tez on the Easy Equities platform, have a 15 minute price delay. Thanks, Carol, and uh, morning and morning to all our uh, attendees. Thanks for taking the time this morning to join us and certainly to learn because that's uh, you know that's why we're all here and now that lockdown's provided that opportunity let's just make uh, good use of it so 15 minutes delayed um the platform uh certainly on easy equities all the prices you see and 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 broader than that most prices that you see in any public domain so if you log on to a website and you're viewing prices from the exchange most likely they are 15 minutes delayed as well. The JSE um, has certain pricing policies in place and anything inside of 15 minutes delayed is considered live, which attracts a cost. Um, that cost needs to be borne by the person that has the ability to view prices. So, you know, the most important point around that is that whether you use it or not is not, is not counted. The fact that you have the ability to use it uh, is is the pricing point, um, and so as I'm sure you can imagine, you know, with close on 400,000 users within the easy world, um, you know, those numbers rack up quite a bit. And so to keep the platform affordable, we've opted for a 15-minute delayed price. So Neilan, does that um, prejudice me as an investor on the platform? Does it make my buying and selling more problematic and difficult? Is it negative towards me as a user? No, so absolutely not, Carol. I mean, you know, effectively what happens is although you're viewing a price um, that's 15 minutes old uh, or exactly what happened 15 minutes ago, um, the execution of your instruction happens at the real underlying exchange market price. So um, had we been live, you would, it may have influenced your decision, but you'd get executed at exactly the same price. So the price that you actually trade at is a live price that's coming directly from the exchange. You know, we don't uh, influence those prices. Uh, predominantly, one uh, participates in the market, you know, in, in two ways. Either you're a price taker or a price maker. Um, I, we'll get into the detail around that, I'm sure, in further episodes of this. Uh, but to, to, to summarize that, when, when you trade um, on an easy equities price, you're a price taker. Anybody that's participating directly on exchange, they make those prices. So somebody that's putting up a bid or putting up an offer, uh, those are the prices our users will trade at. Um, and we are, our clients would definitely be price takers in the sense that they are not making a price on onto the exchange. So Neilan, if we look at um, an example on our platform at the moment, uh, on uh, Sasol, it's just a share that I've picked because it's been one that's been very popular for people. Can you yes. take us through um, the three prices that I see there? The selling at bid, the buying at ask, and then the last price. What, what does that mean? Simplistically for me as somebody wanting to buy shares, why are they different? Are you trying to confuse me purposely? No, absolutely not. So, you know, um, it's, it's commonly known that somebody that wants to sell something always thinks that the asset is, value, is more valuable than it actually is. But in reality, the true price of an asset is the price at which somebody is prepared to pay for it. Um, that determines the price. So here in this example, you, you, you have three or you have two participants, somebody that's looking to buy the stock on the underlying uh, exchange. And here I'm referring to a price maker, which is the 82. Uh, you have somebody that's prepared to sell their stock on exchange. And the, again, a price maker at 85. Um, and we, the opposite side of that. So when you buy, you've got to buy from the person that's prepared to sell. 
So if you come on here now, and needless to say, this is 15 minutes delayed as you already highlighted, but if you come onto the screen now and you're looking to buy stock, you have to pay 85 because that's the, the best available offer or seller in the market. If you're looking to sell your stock, you have to sell at 82 because that's the highest available bid or buyer in the market. Um, the last price is simply the last trade that happened on exchange and what price that happened at. Um, so uh, that 82 means simply means that the last trade on exchange 15 minutes ago was at 82 Rand. Great. So we've got lots of users with varying degrees of sophistication listening in. And just to repeat, uh, we're not going to answer all the questions today. We just really want to set the scene and get a feel of uh, the questions. And looking at some of them that are coming in, there are some people that are also wanting advice on which shares to buy, when, etc. So Easy Equities is an agnostic platform. We don't give advice on what to buy and when to buy it. Um, that's up to individual users. But we want to make it possible for you, once you've made the decision, to invest as safely and as cheaply as possible. So just based on that a little bit, Neelan, and, and chatting uh, about the points that you've made now about the buy and, and, and sell price, um, can you tell us what's the difference between investing and trading? Because we have some users that come onto the platform and let's use Sassel as the ongoing example and are keen to quickly buy and quickly sell a share. Is Easy Equities the best place to necessarily do that kind of trading? Or is it more for investing? And what is the difference? Sure. So uh, trading, as, you know, as the word would suggest, uh, lends itself to, to sort of high frequency transactions. So transactions that happen um, frequently and often, oftentimes within very short time frames. Uh, you know, somebody could be in and out of a trade in a minute. Now, if, if you are looking to trade, what makes it really difficult is a 15 minute delayed price because if you're looking to trade and you know what we commonly refer to as scalp the markets where you're looking for small intervals of profits but very frequently um, you would need you would need live pricing for that um, and uh, you know 15 minute delays a price certainly doesn't lend itself to that uh, predominantly the you know the difference between investing and trading lends itself to the time that you prepared to hold onto your positions. Um, a 15 minute delayed price, when it comes to investing, which is oftentimes linked to longer terms and longer horizons, um, makes no difference. You, you know, whether you buy at nine o'clock in the morning or whether you buy at four o'clock in the afternoon, if you have a five year horizon, um, one could argue that the, the difference means nothing. However, if you're an intraday trader, you know, and you're looking for, let's say a percent, uh, in terms of a movement, then the difference between the nine o'clock price and the four o'clock price would certainly make a difference. So um, the, the difference, to summarize, the difference between investing and trading is largely the time frame that you prepare to hold your positions for and that you prepare to lock your money away for. Uh, investing would be a longer time frame, um, often between three, five, or 10 years. Uh, trading could be as frequently as minutes. So that, that would summarize the difference between trading and investing. Uh, easy, easy Equities is not a trading platform. Easy e Equities you know, ultimately was built for uh, long-term investors um, and hence you know, the 15 minute delayed, uh, delayed price, uh, apart from the fact that we wanted to keep the platform um, affordable and, and the cheapest in the country. And just to remind users, uh, and we've now got over 400,000 users um, on Easy Equity as part of our community, uh, we charge a couple of cents for every 100 Rand that is invested, which is substantially lower than, than that you'd find elsewhere. And to keep those, uh, that pricing low, we very purposefully uh, limit the kind of functionality uh, that we offer. However, there are a number of questions, Neelan, relating to limit pricing and some other more sophisticated investment tools. Um, do you want to maybe share uh, the thoughts from an easy perspective? Is that coming down the line uh, and just briefly chat about that kind of uh, assistance for our investors? Sure. So, um, you know, limit, limit prices are a thing that we've been asked for for a while. Um, safe to say that we have been looking into them. Um, we have started development on that. So that will be coming. Um, there are a few uh, enhancements also that are coming to the actual trade ticket, uh, largely to 
uh, to address the difference between the 15 minute delayed price that investors see versus the execution price. And, you know, in, in periods or during periods of high volatility, um, those differences in 15 minutes could be significant. Uh, most frequently, the, the, the queries that reach the, trade, the trading desk is largely about that. Is, you know, I saw this price, why did I get filled at this price? Um, and you know, nine and a half times out of 10, we, we can show uh, investors exactly why they got, priced at the, they got filled at the price that they did. And we can track that price down to the underlying exchange you know, at the time of execution. So yes, we are, we are addressing those. Uh, some of those features are currently being tested. Um, and predominantly the first version that would be included in, uh, in the upgrade to, to the actual trade ticket would be a snapshot price. So a live snapshot price. Um, and we're working on development around that where you'd be able to view a live price prior to actual execution. And just to all our users listening, um, some of you may not know, but on uh, a weekly basis, first, we roll out new functionality on the site. And that functionality is we constantly improve what we offer users based on your feedback. So please keep that going. A couple of months where there's been a tremendous amount of um, volatility and uncertainty in the market, easy equities have seen tremendous growth um, with you guys being really clever investors, um, putting your money down and um, and really being smart but neilan when trading and investing is so volatile with so for me simplistically because i'm not clever like you with this kind of stuff so when there's a lot of selling and a lot of buying how quickly do the prices move and does that impact easy equities users the majority and what they see so on that sassel example could the price move very quickly in a short space of time and what should I be aware of as an investor on the platform? Absolutely, they can, Carl. And and I think the thing to you know to really highlight is that when when you're looking at the price on the Easy Equities platform, it is 15 minutes delayed. So um, there was a period in Sasol not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, where we saw a 35% move down in Sasol in 45 minutes, and the subsequent uh, 35 minutes uh, we saw a move up by 40%. So prices can be absolutely wild. And, uh, uh, you know, that obviously raised a lot of queries because people were looking at the 15 minute delayed price, executing at the live price. Um, there's an element of volatility auctions, but we'll keep that for another episode because I think that's a bit more detailed than we want to go into this episode. But, um, you know, one has to be aware of the fact that during periods of high volatility, those prices can change within milliseconds. Um, you know, and and sometimes significantly so. A 35% move down or, or up for that matter in, in a period of 45 minutes is really significant. It, you know, it will, it will impact um, what, what you thought you were going to do versus what you actually do. Um, and, and so I think, you know, what users can do um, so, sometimes and certainly during uh, periods that are not volatile, it's fine to use um, uh, you know, the overnight orders, the buy instructions that we have, because oftentimes, um, and sorry, this is another point that we want to make. Markets do not open necessarily where they close. Many, many investors think that, you know, if a stock closed at 100 Rand on a Friday, on Monday, it opens at, at 100 Rand. That's not, that's not true. Markets, markets opened where they determine fair pricing to be. And so, uh, you know, Sasol is a good example. If, if there's a big OPEC meeting over a weekend, uh, and that impacts the price of oil, uh, certainly overnight or through the Asian session, pre the South African Open, that will influence the price of where Sasol opens. So sometimes, you know, the buy, the buy instructions uh, are, are simply market orders. They're an instruction to us to say, please take my 1,000 Rand or 5,000 Rand or 10,000 Rand and buy it at the best available price that you can. That's it. That price could have been at 60 Rand on Friday, but could be at 100 Rand on Monday morning by the time we open. So uh, I think during periods of high volatility, you know, you're most welcome to contact us and, and, and check on the pricing with us. Uh, the snapshot pricing will, will assist with that. Thanks, Neelan. And just to um, remind users again that whilst Easy Equities doesn't provide advice, we do have uh, resources that can assist you with your investing. 
So if you're not making use of our research functionality, um, I would strongly encourage you to, to do so. Um, there is weekly bespoke research written um, by the EASY team uh, on shares like Sassel and others to help you as you make your decisions. Link to that, we've got a question, Leland, in terms of buying, morning, afternoon, evening, and is there a best time of the day to buy and sell for users? Now, some people say you must do it in the morning, but is there a best or worst time to buy and sell shares? The, the only time that, that timing um, is really significant around execution is when we, when we start talking about market-made products like ETFs. Uh, which again we're going to address in in another episode, but largely it's a it's a matter of preference. Um, personally, I I dislike executing in the first half an hour of trade um, because I find the market to be extremely volatile as it looks uh, to find its direction and pricing for the day, um, and also I find uh, liquidity quite light. Um, so I I tend I tend to to generally. Uh, trade, you know, no, normally after half past nine, mostly after 10. Um, and it has a lot to do with also due listed stocks that are listed in London um, that add liquidity to our market as well when they, when they open. So, it, uh, yeah, you know, but again, it, it is a personal preference. I mean, I don't want uh, users to miss prices because they are waiting till 10 o'clock. That's not necessarily what I'm suggesting. I'm just saying as a, as a personal preference, I prefer to, to trade once London is open uh, because we do find enhanced liquidity once, uh, once London comes online. Great, thank you very much. And apologies for those of you struggling, my internet is lagging a little bit, so apologies for that. Um, Neelan, we're gonna wrap up now. Um, I just wanna make a few concluding remarks before I hand over to you for the, for the last question to everybody joining. Um, please make use of um, the Easy Equity Support Portal um, and uh, Stantwan Lissetti will put it on the chat and the Q&A just to make sure you've got that address. Uh, a lot of questions that you're asking around uh, easy money, for instance, easy properties, etc., will be answered there. And it's always, um, in our opinion and experience, the best way to start. Go to the Help Center and check out the questions and answers section uh, there. Um, we will use all the questions that you've given us in the Q&A in the chat. We'll answer some of them now after the session still, um, but otherwise we will address them through our social media or our FAQs or in the series for the remainder of this week. So we'll make sure that we get to all of them. Thanks for answering them. Um, I just want to uh, mention a few quickies around easy properties. Uh, that is launching in the very near future, those of you that are asking about it. We are delayed because of some challenges relating uh, to some business uh, being closed and, and others delayed because of uh, the pandemic. Um, but Rupert Finnemore is in charge of Easy Properties is chomping at the bit to get that going and we've got some beautiful properties lined up. So that's happening. Um, some of you are questioning the functionality on our USD. Uh, for those of you who use your USD accounts uh, and we've seen massive growth there. Uh, a lot of the rules around that aren't Easy Equities rules. They are rules set um, by the Reserve Bank in terms of what can and can't happen. Um, so just check out uh, what we say in the FAQs as well. So Neil, to conclude, I want to go back to you on the pricing, which is the main topic of today. So Easy Equities is predominantly an investment platform to make investment accessible to hundreds of thousands of South Africans that haven't had the ability to invest in the past. Uh, for sophisticated functionality and for trading, you are best uh, to go elsewhere like our sister company, gt247.com, or other companies. But for the majority of investors, Easy Equities offers the safest uh, cheating. If you could just explain, for those who've joined later as well, a wrap up in terms of the price that I see, is that gonna be the price that you, Easy Equities, actually uh, reflect on my account? So if I see that price that you said of 82 Rand, and I buy, is there potential that that's going to be different than what I've seen? Yes, it is. So the price that you see on the uh, Easy Equities platform is 15 minutes delayed. It, in essence, what exactly what happened 15 minutes ago. Um, the price that you actually get executed at is the live JSE price. It's the same price that you would get executed at if you traded at any other broker at exactly that same time. So. Uh, pricing upfront on, on the platform is 15 minutes delayed. Um, pr prices of execution 
are at live prices in the underlying market. And those, mar those prices could definitely be different. And do you want to tell us why do we open on easy equities a couple of minutes after the JSE opens? What is the reason for that linked to pricing? So some, sometimes um, the exchange goes into an extended opening auction. So, and, and again, I think we're going to address auctions in, in, a, in a separate episode, but markets open and close by means of an auction. Um, if, if volatility is extremely high and the perceived opening price is greater than a certain percentage from relative to the close, the previous day's close, then the exchange extends the opening auction to establish a fair market open price. Um, the, you know, the, those, those extended auctions could run a little bit later. During that auction process, prices are often inverted and uh, clients would obviously get filled at the wrong price if, uh, if we're still in an auction, which is not a continuous market, uh, you know, where you would typically see bids and offers moving around. Um, uh, clients will not get filled at correct prices during that period. So hence, we delay that. Um, that's one reason. The other reason uh, really surrounds itself around liquidity. Markets are not the most liquid straight up at the open. Spreads are often quite wide. Um, again, we'll get into detail, uh, you know, around market making and stuff like that around ETFs when we do when we do uh, choose that topic. But uh, but liquidity is another thing. You know, um, liquidity manifests in a few ways. You know, one is average turnover, and the other is the width of the market spread. Straight up on the open, as people are loading up their orders and trying to establish where this thing, where the asset should be trading for the day, uh, spreads can be quite wide. Um, you know, and, and like we said earlier, easy equity users are price takers. They are trading at those underlying available best bids and offers in the market. Those are not prices made by us. Those are prices made by the market and, and, and are on exchange. Um, and, and hence, we open a little bit later to wait for those prices to tighten for extended volatility auctions, if there are any to end, and for normal trading to resume. Great. Thank you. Um... This uh, will be available on our YouTube channel and link to other platforms for those that are asking. Uh, to repeat that we will answer the questions. There's so many good comments that are coming through and useful input. So uh, Easy Equities is built and right from the word go when we launched on user feedback. So we love you uh, giving suggestions and feedback. Thank you very much. I do though want to just clarify, Easy Equities is a digital platform. We do not employ consultants to um, assist. It would make our business model uh, far more expensive and we wouldn't be able to make investing as accessible as it is. And so we really encourage people to use our FAQs and to engage with the resources that are online. Our support portal, uh, ask your questions. Uh, a majority of the questions that are coming through, the answers are on the support portal. So search there first, uh, check out our social media, the SETI manages that uh, and we will make sure to answer all your questions. So happy investing. Um, thanks very much, Neelan. Uh, Neelan's got a wealth of experience um, and is really passionate about helping uh, the easy equities community invest uh, and to, to reap the benefits as they work hard at achieving financial dignity. So in conclusion, thanks for joining us. We'll be on tomorrow morning again at 8.30. Uh, I think we'll keep it to half an hour um, and we will answer your questions through the course of the day through various channels. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Happy investing.